guys uh, my first ride on this uh, new bike <laughs> so I just thought I will uh, take it for a spin uh, yep it's uh, great to be back on the big bike <laughs> loads of power <laughs> and uh, very convenient effortless power I'm going at 70 and uh, you know absolutely uh, barely could hear the engine <laughs> That's what I like, that's what I missed about uh, this bike on the uh, smaller one. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm just uh, happy to be back here. Uh, you know, the 310GS is a great bike, but uh, you know, for American roads, uh, it's a bit of a hassle, uh, you know, just to keep up with anything. Uh, so, uh, uh, so I'm just going to go here for a quick uh, road spin and then try to get used to this bike here and I thought I'll just uh, you know chat with you guys on the way so uh, the uh, low suspension bike is uh, is what I needed <laughs> and uh, you know this is perfect uh, initially uh, the seat was in the high mode uh, high setting so it seems a little bit taller than my old uh, the previous bike but now that I have adjusted it uh, you know it seems perfect uh, so uh, uh, that's what it is a couple of things I missed in the uh, in this bike is uh, you know uh, on the street the weight I like the bike to be a little heavy so that I don't get pushed around in the crosswinds that's number one and then uh, cruising at 70 75 was a bit of a strain on that bike so I'm, I'm thinking that uh, my off-road skills what I need uh, you know I think I perfected that uh, with that one so uh, you know I think I'm not gonna do too much uh, heavy off-road so I think this will be uh, you know hopefully uh, uh, third time the charm <laughs> uh, but uh, I love this color the rally color it's uh, pretty cool uh, so uh, that's what I am I don't have the nav so I put my phone in there for some reason it's not charging I got to figure that out but uh, yeah I'm just going to go for a quick spin and uh, we'll keep you guys posted uh, as I go along uh, on my journey in this bike uh, anyway I will talk to you guys in a bit uh, it's beautiful here uh, that's how I came so that's the uh, Grafford uh, the hills out there so uh, we're going to uh, Palo Pinto and then uh, head on to uh, there's the Indian Dhaba which is opening up there so I want to just check it out <laughs> They were just uh, trying to open that, so uh, let's see how that is uh, come shaping up. I downshifted a little too early here, but uh, yeah, just getting the hang of this bike again. Really badly done. <laughs> uh, I guess I gotta relearn this bike now. <laughs> I think I, uh, I lowered the seat only in the front, but not in the back. So it's kind of sitting at an incline. So uh, that needs to be fixed <laughs> at the next stop. Anyway, I will catch you guys in a bit. Oh, it's a beautiful view here again. Every time I see it. <laughs> I just want to record it it's such a beautiful view of this uh, property and then uh, looking down going down to the uh, valley there it's gorgeous the pond right here nicely done this section of uh, four gets a little interesting this is the Brazos river we're crossing right here this is gorgeous. People camping by the water. The tank 
focus <laughs> nice and big I'm getting used to it it's a big difference from uh, the 310 where it was a very uh, narrow tank so I have to uh, get used to uh, you know gripping the uh, tank with my feet okay the uh, twisties are uh, a little easier here because you can just stay on the lower gear and then you can just power through the, uh, um, the machine easier it accelerates really smoothly <laughs> so yep it's gonna be fun I'm still getting used to the uh, body position on this bike compared to the previous one so I'm just gonna go a little easy on it but and in the road mode I don't want to uh, you know uh, going to dynamic yet but uh, that's what it is so you just need to I need to lean uh, you know the angle I need to make sure how much of the body like you see here I really I'm not yeah the lean is different in different bikes uh, so uh, that's what I need to practice a little bit before I get uh, aggressive on this bike but uh, oh beautiful look at that look at that sea of red this is gorgeous oh, and sea of green yellow here <laughs> wow unbelievable nice that's why you ride so anyway that's a little bit of uh, the texas countryside here Saw some blue bonnets on the side of the road. <laughs> Hopefully they'll come back here again. There they are, some blue bonnets. Nice, wow, that's pretty. That is pretty. Uh, probably stop and take a picture. There's not enough space here. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. All over the place. Nice. That too. Man, I told my wife it's going to be an hour and a half trip. It looks like it's going to get extended here. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. is pretty good so I really don't have to use my brakes in any of these uh, slow corners uh. yeah I'm still getting used to moving around in this bike compared to the other one so I need to be a little bit careful here but uh, I'll get used to it It's all about moving around on the bike. <laughs> the more the bike remains st uh, upright, uh, the better you have, uh, uh, you know, the more traction you have. So, so you move around rather than the bike moving around. This is what I miss in that uh, V10. I can just rev it up and cruise at 85 or something very comfortably on these kind of roads. <laughs> like 80 and uh, you know, barely breaking a sweat. So that's the kind of uh, power I miss on the 310. So here I'm comfortably doing 80 plus so you know if you want to eat up some miles this is the best way to do it <laughs> along with everything else <laughs> oh the twisties also was so easy so so beautiful you know effortless power you don't have to rev things up I love that
I-20 right here. But you don't need to get on the freeway. These uh, service roads go on forever. <laughs> oh, so this is the Punjabi Daba here. Uh, looks like uh, it's not open yet. I just uh, went around and took a look at the place. Uh, it uh, it looks like it might be a grocery store too, which is good. So I can come here for groceries and stuff. I guess I'm going to be frequenting this place uh, a lot now. <laughs> uh, because they got some shelves and everything. Got the open sign. Not lit yet. But yeah. I think it might be an interesting place to come back. Anyway, uh, time to find the shortest way to home. And yep, the GSA, man, oh man. This bike is a, is a keeper, as usual. Mm. Oh, let's get the party started here. I will catch you guys as we uh, Get on the road. I think, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll probably end the video here. Beautiful day. Beautiful bike. Man, I miss this. Uh, maybe I'll summarize as we ride along on, uh, you know, what, what the plus and minuses are. I will talk to you guys in a bit. Okay. Off. Oh.